Hi folks. In the very last video, I promised that you, I would show you uh, an, an additional example of government intervention in the market where a ceiling or a surplus has, has been caused as a result of a government policy or government regulation or government law. In the last video, we looked at rent control and rent control causing shortages. Today, we're going to look at minimum wage and we're going to see that the minimum wage laws that pass will cause a surplus of unskilled labor and then we have to, to, to deal with the unintended consequences as a government, as a, as a society. Here we go. I've written up here that minimum wage will cause a surplus of unskilled labor in the unskilled labor market. It's critical that we understand here that the market that we're examining is First of all, the labor market. It's, I think, the very first time that we've analyzed a resource market, a market involving the supply of land, labor, capital, or entrepreneurship. Thus far, I think all of our analyses have been confined to the product market, goods and services, and us as households demanding goods and services from firms. This is the very first time that we're looking at a resource market. So again, the supply of land, labor, capital, or entrepreneurship. And in this case, we're dealing with the supply of labor. What kind of labor? Skilled labor, like surgeons and doctors and, well, teachers and administrators? No. We're looking at unskilled labor. We're looking at high school graduates with no college under their belts at all, typically, with, with not a lot of skills, not a lot of experience. The unskilled labor market and the supply of labor is the laborers themselves what they're willing and able to work for the price of labor I guess which is the wage and then the demand for labor works just like a demand curve but it's the firms that are doing the demanding they're they're the ones that want to purchase the labor if you will in a normal labor market where the supply of labor, laborers, and the demand for labor, the firms, meet is the wage rate, which I'll call W here. And at that wage rate, there will be a certain number of workers, I'm just going to put QL, that are willing to work for that wage. And Market-style capitalism would dictate to us that the best way to establish wages is to allow this labor market to operate without much interference. That it will clear and wage rates will be established. Well, other people in society, though, might be concerned that the wage rate would be too low, unfair exploiting these unskilled laborers and they would say you know what for as a matter of equity as a matter of fairness we should pass a law that says that the wage rate can't go you know any lower than a certain a certain threshold and if that price floor now that's what we call that the, the price can't drop below what, what it is it can't go lower than the floor if that law is going to be effective, then an effective price floor will be set above the wage rate, if it's going to be effective. Is this fair? Ooh, we could debate that. That's a normative debate. Some economists would say, absolutely. Some economists would say, you know, we, we really owe it to these usually hardworking individuals. Don't lack or have lacks skill, but we owe it to them and their families to, to give them a, a decent living wage. Other economists, more conservative economists, would say no. The best way to establish this wage rate for unskilled labor is through the, the just a 
the normal flow of a, of a labor market. Well, here's how, it, how it, it, uh, a minimum wage law would work. If it's to be effective, the minimum wage usually, well, always would be set at above the current wage rate. It's usually kind of being complained about or is usually being called into question. So I'm going to say that my government has passed, there's the minimum wage, it is what we call a price floor. The price can't drop below this floor, can't go down to W1. So employers are no longer, or W, employers are no longer allowed to charge W for their, or pay W for their labor. They must now pay W1. That is my minimum wage. I'll write that in as well. What is the impact on the market? That artificially now high price for unskilled labor intersects our demand for labor at this point, which I will call QL1. And our artificially high price wage rate for labor intersects our supply of labor here at QL2. What does that mean? I mean, this is, you know, at this artificially high wage rate, there are more laborers willing and able to work for that wage rate. But there are, there are fewer firms that are willing to pay that artificially high price. So what we have is a situation where the, the number of laborers willing to work for that wage rate is QL2 way out here, and that is outstripping the amount of firms, the number of firms, the amount of positions that firms have available at this artificially high wage rate. And so what we have here is a surplus of labor. Of a surplus of unskilled labor, which is the same thing as unemployment. So all other things being equal, a minimum wage bill will result in a surplus of unskilled labor and we would expect the unemployment rate to maybe climb a little bit, not, not a massive amount usually, but a, but a little bit as a result of this bill. And then the government and the society is left to deal with, okay, now what do we do with this surplus of unskilled labor? It's usually not, you know, we can't just simply export it. Uh, so, so, you know, we, we're either going to be happy with it or we're going to have to target particular programs uh, designed to give these unskilled laborers some, some skills and that may be at, at the taxpayer's expense. Well, but again, whatever society or whatever government decides to do with this unintended consequence, there is an unintended consequence and that is in this case that the minimum wage bill has, has resulted in, in a surplus of unskilled labor. In the very next video, I'm just going to take you through sort of almost a cheat sheet about uh, surpluses and shortages, and I'll see you then.